still working on that thing that's gonna fix all our problems? Time to get genius! It's working! Yes! Oh, no, no! Oh. Oh. Lunella! Lunella! Lunella Lafayette! OMG! Worry, keeping Clifford. We gotta do this on the DL or my family will freak. <laughs> now we got super villains. Somebody call the Avengers! Do they even go below 14th Street? I've gotta fix this. <clears throat> I am the smartest 13-year-old. And now I have a dinosaur! My brain, your brawn. We could be superheroes! What do you think? No! What? Not in that outfit! Dang, we did the thing! Yeah, day. yeah, we did. There's no one else to stick up for the Lower East Side. You're just a kid? Are we in over our heads? You're gonna inspire people, just like you inspired me. Moon Girl Magic! Our world needs saving right now. Whoa. This one's a fighter. It's like you always say, one girl can make a difference, right? Especially when that girl is you. Oh. Let's do this, Dee! You go, Moon Girl! Do your thing! Moon Girl Magic! What are you doing? You can't eat that without some of my pie! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Boom, there you go. That was the trailer for Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. I'm Kuya P, and as you see on the screen, I have a special guest. I'm so excited. Lee Bay Barrera, who plays Casey in the show. So excited. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Um, Casey, who is right there. I switched up because you also have another amazing film called uh, Among the Beasts, which you are amazing as Lola. But in Casey, um, my Marvel heart is fulfilled with this project. I'm so excited. Can't wait to share this with my daughter. What was it like bringing to life Casey and joining the Marvel Universe, Libe? Crazy. I mean, it's I it's it was it's been so fun getting to voice Casey. We've been working on this for like three years now, and it's amazing that it's finally coming to uh, yeah, coming out. It's um, it's funny. You know, I like people have been asking like, what's it like to be part of the Marvel Universe and whatnot, but it's I think that this project was it's was such a labor of love all around and like you know we we recorded a lot of it like it, we did the for a lot of the first season during the depths of like lockdown and so that, like Disney sent us recording equipment and I converted my like apartment in Fort Greene in Brooklyn and my like my closet in my Fort Greene apartment like into a recording studio and I would zoom and diamond the who plays moon girl and I we would record a lot of our episodes together from like opposite sides from like our closets and opposite sides of the country and so you know, but I, and every time like the creators would be so excited to like tell us about like new episodes that are coming up or like showing us like pieces of animation that like that they can show us and stuff. And um, it was all made with such like love and care that like it's crazy now to be like, oh, yeah, it is a part of the Marvel, you know, and like and getting, you know, now that people are about to, are about to see it and, you know, we're doing press and stuff and realizing that, yeah, people are going to see it on this like big scale and it is a part of like something bigger and important than like. It's yeah. going to be insane. Your life is going to be crazy. Uh, all the conventions <laughs> are going to reach out to you and uh, we'll all be in line ready to get that signature. Um, <laughs> what was it like, you know, booking it? And did you like do any homework? Did you read the comics? Uh, what was it like get and getting into Casey? Yeah, so it's funny that Among the Beasts and <laughs> I had sort of similar origin stories to these. I Even though they were, I guess they were like relatively close in time. But um, I like had... Well, so yeah, so I, I, with voiceover, you get like tons and tons of, I don't know if you, like you as an actor, like know this also, but like you get like 100 thing, you know, you get like tons of auditions that you just like record an MP3 and you send it off and like don't hear for anything for most of them, more so than like with, you know, uh, on camera stuff. But um, so I was, this is at a time when like, I think I, I had been like auditioning for a lot of 
uh, a lot of cartoons and stuff. And I was just like losing steam. And I was like, and I remember at this one, I like, I don't even think I plugged in my like recording setup. I think I recorded from my computer. And I was like, you know, I was like, no one's going to listen to this. I was like, it's too bad because the sides are really good. But I was like, I, but I was like, no one's going to hear this. And so I just like, I don't even think I edited it. I sent it to my agent and I got a call from my agent that was like, hey, your read was really good, but the quality of your tape is terrible. <laughs> she was like, I can't help notice that the quality of your MP3s have gotten worse and worse. But like, I think you could really like get this job, like, and it's a cool project. Like, come into the studio, all into the agency, I'll help, I'll record you and like we'll we'll work on it from there. And I was like, fine. And I go and I record it and it was really fun. And then I go and I meet with the creators and um and that was and that was super fun. And then you get a little bit more material and I was like, oh my God, the script is so good. And um and then I go to the I go to the comic book store to because I was like, I'm gonna you know research this now and I get like five Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur comics and I read all of them and I'm like where's Casey? <laughs> and I'm like, she's not in the, and, and I was like, and I go and I meet them and I was like, so I read all, I was like, when does Casey come into the comics? And they were like, oh, Casey's not in the comics. We're adding her and she's going to be a part of Moon Girl's origin story. And she's like going to be her sort of left-hand man. And I was like, cool. That you and created that's what her. Yeah, yourself. yeah, totally. That's awesome. So, so what did you mind for? So you have the scripts. You're you're creating this character. What were there any uh, influences, if you will, uh, or did they give you any notes uh, to to in concept? Uh, how free were you able to like really give life to Casey? Well, one thing that I loved was um, like from our first recording session, they were like the reference that I really latched onto was like they're like we want to create a very real friendship like 13 year old girl friendship like our reference is pen 15 and I was like yes that I love that I had my pen 15 best friend in middle school and that was like and I think that there's and that really like sparked my imagination and like trying to find and I and helped me find like that very you know I think that it's like that's the age where you learn how to like have real friends you know and I think that there's like a an awkward like finding your footing there that um diamond and i yeah we record most of our episodes together whether it's you know remotely or on different booths in the same studio if we're both in la but um yeah i and so they, we were very we were very much encouraged to like play and riff off each other and ad lib and like and so and a lot of this that stuff has made it into the show and i think it's like um, oh that's it's awesome really special yeah that's really cool. That that is dope. You you gotta love that as an actor that you can get yeah. that note in there. Um, oh. you're you're about to like even more blow up. Like this is gonna be insane. I we did a reaction on our channel to just the trailer. Um, the soundtrack sounds amazing. All the guest stars in this. Like, yeah. have you seen a, any bit of this yet? Um, before yeah. it premieres this week. Yeah, I've seen a few episodes, but we watched. We had our big premiere on Friday. Friday, no Saturday and I got to see it big I got to see the first episode big in like a room full of people and I was so blown away I was like I can't believe I get to be a part of this show that's like so so special and yeah I love that for you so if they come a uh, uh, running because you did a little voice acting you know in this mm -hmm. would you want to be like you know in the flesh you know Marvel superhero Libe? I mean, I would, yeah, I would love to. I think, unfortunately, I'm too old to play Casey, and <laughs> I'm not a 13 year old girl, but <laughs> I'd love to do another one. <laughs> no worries. Well, I can see that happening because you're killing it. Uh, thank you immensely for your time. Everybody, check out Libe in Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur on Disney Plus, uh, streaming as of February 10th, probably as of this when I premiered it. It'll be out there now. You can go check it out. And also check her out in Among the Beasts uh, right now as well in theaters, as well digital on demand. It's all coming out at the same time. Libe is blowing up, y'all. She's going to be on everything. Thank you so much, Libe. Really appreciate your time. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's your boy, Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World.